little while back, I was coaching a really important basketball game. It was a really important game for our players, for our team advancing in the playoffs. And it was a really good game. It was going back and forth, really competitive. And it came right down to the wire. And right at a key moment near the end of the game, the referee made a terrible call. It cost us the game. And that's what I want to talk about today. Hey, welcome back, Jeff Hagee, Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. How many times have you been involved in an event, a game in sports, in business, whatever it is, and some outside factor did something, made a decision, something that cost you the win? You know, in the opening, I talked about a game that I lost because of a bad call by a referee. Well, that's what I wanna talk about today. And I guess to kind of let you know where I'm going with this, I want to first share a quote from John Wooden. He says, you're not a failure until you start blaming others for your mistakes. How many times do we hear someone, especially in sports, you know, I want to talk about sports today, but I've always talked about that on these episodes is sports are such a reflection of real life. So just because I'm talking about sports, if you're an entrepreneur, don't, don't skip this episode because it all ties together. How many times have you used the excuse that you lost because of a ref, a bad call, because you got fouled, because of something someone else did? It happens all the time. In baseball, oh, that wasn't a strike. It was a bad call by the ump. In, in all the sports, in business, you get it all the time. And it's really easy to play into those things. It's really easy to agree with people that say it. I've had a number of games that we come off on the losing end and after the game fans and parents are telling me, oh, it's okay, you guys had a bad ref job or something happened. Well, you know what? There's a lot more than one call that decides a game. And one of the things that I think is important to understand is successful people own their mistakes. And the biggest thing is they learn from them. We talk a lot about the growth and the fixed mindset well if you're not learning and growing from your mistakes you're really fostering a fixed mindset and you don't have that potential to grow like you could if you had a growth mindset you know one of the things i've talked about a lot as well is successful people focus on the things that they can control not on the things that they can't control going back to the basketball game there were a lot of things in my control, in the team's control, beyond one call that a ref makes. And how we respond to that one call can definitely impact future calls and future things happening. And so we've got to really put our focus and effort into the things that we can control and not let our emotions make us worry about those things that are out of our control that we can't change. You know, when we look at elite performance performers, whether it's sports, business, whatever it, else, whatever it is, they really look at what they've done, success or failure, and try to figure out what can they learn from it and what are they going to do next because of the lessons that they've learned. It really is tied into the fix and the growth mindset. And if that's something you want to learn more about, learn about the success mindsets and not only how they impact what you're doing, the decisions you're making, all of those things how you can improve them to make you a better leader, to make you a better athlete, to make you a better business person. I did some webinars on them. You can go get them for free. Go to jeffhagey.com slash bigger future. There's a couple of webinars there. There's a mindset assessment. There's a really powerful tool that'll really help you figure some things out there, but go check that out. It'll be really helpful. jeffhagey.com slash bigger future. But the thing I really encourage you to do is take ownership. Take ownership of your actions, your decisions, the things that you're doing. Look at things from another perspective of what are you going to learn from your failures? How can you grow from it? What is the lesson you're going to learn to take on to the next thing? There's really a lot of opportunity to learn from every single fa failure that we have. But if we blame others, blame the referee, blame anything other than the decisions we've made, 
then we're going to continue to foster that negative attitude. We've got to be able to learn from it and grow and keep continuing to grow and become, become successful. Thanks for being with me. Again, still room. There's a few more spots left. Come to jeffhagey.com slash group coaching and check that out. Love to have you check it out and hopefully join us. But we're getting started this week, so check it out soon. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, athletes and parents of athletes. So much time, money, and effort is put into the physical aspect of your sport to become the best you can be. But the mental game, it's often neglected, and it's just as important as the physical game. In fact, it's usually the differentiator between the good and the great athletes. Come and join me in the Confident Athlete Program where you'll learn to control your confidence, develop a powerful mindset, and unlock your full potential. Go to jeffhagey.com slash confidentathlete to find out more. I look forward to seeing you there. Hey, some of you may know this, but in addition to my coaching, I've recently joined Geneva Financial Home Loans, a mortgage lender headquartered in Chandler, Arizona as a mortgage loan originator. I've always had a passion for serving others, and now I'm proud to also be a part of Home Loans Powered by Humans. If you're in the state of Arizona and looking to take the next step in your journey, contact me at 801-830-3858 to start the conversation. NMLS number 42056, BK number 0910215, Equal Opportunity Lender.